One very important formula in geometry is the midpoint formula. Imagine we have two points in the plane. Call one point A, call the other point B. And then consider the line segment that connects together the points A and B. The midpoint, which we'll call it M, is the point that's exactly halfway between A and B. So that is the line segments AM is congruent to BM. That is the distance from A to M is identical from the distance from M to B that we talk about right here. So the midpoint is exactly halfway between uh, the two points. Now the formula for the midpoint is quite natural. If we have coordinates for A and B, let's say uh, A has the coordinates x1, y1, and let's suppose B has the coordinates x2, y2, then consider the right triangle that's associated to these two points. We see something like this. Now it turns out that the x coordinate of the midpoint will be exactly halfway between uh, this this side of the triangle. That is, this side is equal to this side. Um, in particular, we see that the x-coordinate of M is then just going to be the average of the x-coordinate of A with the x-coordinate of B, which looks something like this, x1 plus x2 all over 2. And similarly, the y-coordinate of the midpoint is just going to be halfway between the y-coordinate of A and the y-coordinate of B. That is, this side right here cuts in half and these two segments are exactly the same. Therefore, we can find the y-coordinate by averaging together the y-coordinates of A and B. That is, the y-coordinate of the midpoint is y1 plus y2 all over 2. So imagine we have the following picture. Uh, let's have the point, let's take the point P to be negative 5, comma 5. Let's take the point Q to be 3, comma 1. And let's find the midpoint between the two. Uh, you can see it's already labeled here on the screen. But how does one find out that coordinate algebraically? Well, the midpoint M will have the average of the X coordinates, negative 5 plus 3 over 2. Uh, because we're adding them, it doesn't matter who's the first point, who's the second coordinate. We're just averaging the X coordinate. We have to also average the Y coordinate. In which case, then simplify these fractions. Negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2 over 2. You get 5 plus 1, which is 6 over 2. And then lastly, if you simplify these fractions, you're going to get negative 1 over 3, which we then see is the midpoint of the line segment.